Do you want to unravel the mystery of winning predictions? Discover how recurrence can be the key to winning analysis. I will show you techniques unknown that exploits repetitive investigation patterns, sports to give you an unmatched advantage. So stay with me to transform your match analysis strategy and start winning like never before. So already, thanks for all your messages of thanks, whether for EA or for others. The only software today that helps you for match analysis via artificial intelligence. Thank you also for all your honor messages. For my daily analysis is that I analyze the matches every day to give you the future winners. I hope you have made good resolutions for 2019, 24, and that you mainly have a plan to achieve them because you know that often enough. Resolutions are just wishful thinking. I would really like this. I would really like that. But realistically, if you don't take effective actions to maintain them, I tell you, take the example of going to the gym every day or every other day. If you don't highlight your sports gear, if you do not maintain a rhythm of every other day or every three days and tell yourself that you will go when you have the time to accord. Practically, it won't work. And it's kind of like that in all areas, whether it's match analysis or in professional life. If we don't have a clear strategy to achieve our goals, we won't get there. And that's why today I'm going to give you be clear about recurrence to win your match analysis. But above all, stay until the end, because if you just one of his tips, the strategy might not work. Already a small question. Will you tell us in the comments? Did you manage to get your match analysis through in December? Whether or not, anyway, for the year 2023. Has been fruitful for you. Tell me in the comments. I'm interested. And above all, don't forget the little like a quick Video like one. this, it takes me over 10 hours of editing. It doesn't seem like that. But between synthesizing the information, the shooting of the video, the editing of the video, the uploading and the thumbnail, well, there I just ask you in return a little like. It's just a little click for you. And for me, it makes a huge difference in the visibility of the channel. So thanks to all those who will take this half second. Click on the like button. In any case, don't worry. If you're a beginner, I'm going to use jargon that's understandable to the majority so that you too can get familiar with match analysis. But in any case, don't give up if you can't do it today because see, Rome wasn't I'm happy built one day. And that is brick by brick that one builds their house. Now let's get to the heart of the matter with tip number one is to first identify first the recurring trends of the teams. Yes, in the world of match analysis, recurrence is a best friend. So it's about identifying major trends and the patterns that repeat in the results of the matches. For example, a study from the University of Liverpool showed that some teams tend to score their goal only secondarily. So it would be good to analyze the statistics from a team's recent games to identify recurring trends. Like for example, the performance at the end of the year or the start of a match. This way you can use this information more strategically and analyze, for example, the moment when a goal might occur. So I'm going to give several sites that analyze the major trends of movement. So you have four bet, for example, which gives you the current teams that have won the most and conversely teams that have lost the most. I have four bet. Well, I would advise you to focus more on the teams that have the most. Why? Because a series of victories is bound to stop at some point, while a team does not forget a series of defeats. No one is going to wake up one fine morning and be good. Of course, we need to push the analysis a little further and see who they are playing against. If they are last, they play against the penultimate. They might have chances to win. However, if they play against the middle-ranked team, they might lose here. Same thing with the draws. What I advise you to do on the draws is draw half-time full-time. So that means that most games end up 0 nil. Bet on an under off goal, or simply, there we see Forest Ranger, who is on three draws in a row. The next match, you can start to study to know. They don't draw, so one or two, it's a double chance. Either the home team or the away team wins. The same goes for clean sheets. You see, we are on a team. There, for example, there are two teams with seven kitchens in a row. We might think that they might concede a goal. The opposing team scores at least one point. It can start to be interesting, so the rate will be quite high. And we assume that... This series is going to end at some point since we're reaching a number that is quite significant. Anyway, you've got the hang of it. You've got the same thing on the hovers. Then another interesting thing is the head to head. That is to say, H to H, the two teams that will compete. For example, Aberdeen, I might translate it in English, is undefeated in 26 of his last 31 matches against St. Miret first. So now they're facing St. Miren. Is it worth it if Aberdeen wins or not? We can study this match. So it's kind of a black cat strategy. Basically, no matter the years, no matter the teams, there are teams that never win against certain rather interesting teams to take into account. There's a trend too, hasn't managed to win, face Bologna, since Udinese has only won one of its matches out of 20. I like to bet against the very bad ones. So since Bologna is at 220, why not Bologna refund 6-0? Not much risk, interesting odds. We need to study the match, but then Udi may also. There you have it. We won the match. You need to look at the team's strengths a bit present if there are any absent players on the opposing team etc you really need to take everything into account here i'm giving you a mishmash well but it's true that for is really very interesting with tons of stats and this every day you have all the matches of the day so it's really interesting you have a second you have a second called tipsterarieri.com so you see that you have all the matches and the same you have the big trends so if you don't understand english the language of shakespeare you right click translate to french i showed you the artificial intelligence that studies all this data and gives you the output 
the most interesting match to play is in EA producing. So just copy paste these data. In any case, if you don't have EA production. And you can also analyze a little bit all the matches that are there and all the data you have here. The second tip is to look at the winning streaks and the losing streaks. You should know that winning streaks or losing streaks are not just a coincidence. They clearly indicate the shape of don't believe it, but a series of victories really boost troop morale. To that telling you defeat seriously affects morale. So before rushing headlong, check the recent history of both teams plus a team that has a series of victories. We tend to rotate, while a team that is on a losing streak keeps their major assets to try and snag their first win. And that's where the trap is. Often when a team on a losing streak keeps their major assets to try, a series of victories face a team who had a series of defeats. The favorite team turned over its roster. Logically, thinking it's going to be easy to qualify, at least to win the match, and the team that had a streak of losses will give it their all. Because practically, if they manage to leave me them, alone, the favorite's victory will be a bit of the match because they've knocked out a big favorite. So it's not about seeing some complete outsider victories against very informed teams. And that's for you to research, especially about the compositions. Teams, I'm going to give a tip. It's thanks to the site Pet Explorer. And you see that if you go to football, so you have them. Winning streaks, but that's not what's going to interest me. Winning streaks tend to stop at some point. Draw streaks, same. Then maybe tell you about the big draw series. Well, there are not many. There are only two. But on the one we saw earlier where there were three, it will be interesting to say that the next match will not be a draw. But what will yeah, interest us life. is, I think there are teams that are still on big losing streaks. For instance, this game, they are facing a team with an outside rating, a rating at 1.39. So why not? You have to analyze the match, but basically you understood, I prefer to analyze in ammunition, saying that a useless team will remain useless or that a useless team that made a miracle on a match will have tendency to lose the Same. next one. I'll take the example of Holstat area. So you don't click on the teams, you click on the eye to see the confrontations. So here I'm picking a random match. For example, Estoril versus Ferenc. You can see that in team confrontations. There's never a draw and it's always a 50-50. So one time it's Estoril, one time it's Ferenc who wins. Can we say that Farenz is going to win? Estoril at home are on a winning streak. It's the same. They have won four times at home. It may be that they lose or draw their next match. If we look at Farhan on the contrary, we realize that away, generally, the team with the 2-0 yeah. lead wins. You have a host since they, and you see, that's two consecutive games where the home team hasn't won. So clearly, this is a match to avoid. Since the two recurrences, whether it's the away team or the home team, give a completely different result. But you've got the logic. The third tip I'd like to give you is to analyze the... So to analyze the odds, there's nothing simpler. I advise you to go to surface core, to go to the match. It's all your choice. And you see that in general, when you arrive at the match, they tell you, well, the odds are 1.29 for this team, but it wins 83. 2% of these matches with these odds, while in general, it's, it's more 78%, unless ASCO tells you its value to win with these odds, which are analyzed directly by SofaScan. So this is important data. And if you do dropping odds here and you click on football, you go all the way down and you really have the big differences in relation to the chance according to the odds and the chance in relation to the gap. I'm giving you an example to explain. Aluminium, Iraq, we are on a rate of 2.38. Team 1, according to the codes, it's 40% and according to the stories, we are at 70%. It would be good to analyze this match. See if actually Aluminium Iraq has a chance of winning or not. Fourth tip is to analyze the history of rates and of course avoid rising rates. Understand the evolution of rates and more than necessary in your match analysis, a rate that gradually increases. Indicate a change in world perception, bookmaker for a player's chance of success or from a team. And this could be due to several factors like breaking news, changes in weather conditions, or even betting trends from different bettors. So keep an eye on the odds evolution, because if you notice that an odd is increasing, this could mean that the bookmaker has less confidence in this option. So it's a strong signal to reconsider your analysis or to look for additional information. Explaining variations to you. Avoiding Sometimes an analysis because of a rising quote can save you from an unexpected loss. So look at this. You go to Hotspot. You go to the match of your choice. For example, we're going to click on League One, Marcel, Strasbourg. If you scroll down a bit, you have hot this movement. So the movements of the coast. I suggest you go to average. Average of so odds. So you see that the odds were opened, opening at 1.39 and it increased. We moved from 1.39 to 1.51 for the victory of Marseille. It's less certain than before this option materializes and you can check the same on, for example, the draw that went from 4.80 to 420. Similarly, the bookmaker very clearly says that, that a draw is more likely. That at the moment, he took out his odds. And you can also check out the team outside, where we went from 7.27 to 6. So the bookmaker is even less confident about this team losing, if it still is confident about Marcel's victory, since he puts them as the favorite. And it's true, I analyze a lot with artificial intelligence. Anyway, the people today who, those who don't use artificial intelligence to analyze their matches are lagging behind. And don't think that the bookmakers today do not use artificial intelligence artificial but it's true that it allows to process millions of data per second and save a crazy amount of time that's why i give on my daily analysis a lot more predictions than before because artificial intelligence allows me 
they take the values. So I don't know if you know, but on my site, I offer IA Pronostic, the only tool that allows you to do match analysis via infinite intelligence. A coaching session with me for more than three hours and my analysis and predictions in the old town. You just have to do a VIP registration here. Also in the bottom right, you can get all the updates. You can see I add them quite frequently. See you on the other side. Bye.